In this lesson, we're going to find the integral of e to the x sine x dx. And so for this problem, we're going to use the integration by parts method. So the formula is the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So we're going to set u equal to e to the x. And then dv we're going to make that equal to sine x dx. Now, du, the derivative of e to the x, is going to be e to the x times dx. And v, the integral of sine, is negative cosine. So now, applying the formula u times v, that's e to the x times negative cosine x, minus the integral of v du, where v is negative cosine x, and du is ex dx. So let's rewrite what we have. So we have negative ex cosine x, and the two negative signs will become positive, and then plus the integral of e to the x cosine x. Now we need to use integration by parts again on e to the x cosine x. So once again, we're going to make u equal to e to the x. And I'm forgetting a dx symbol. Let's put that there. And then du is going to be the same thing, e to the x dx. And then the other part, cosine x dx, we're going to make that equal to dv. And so the integral of dv, which is v, that's the integral of cosine, which is positive sine x. So we have negative e to the x cosine x. And then for this part, we're going to apply this formula again. So it's u times v. So that's plus e to the x sine x minus the integral of v du. That's sine x times e to the x dx. All right, so this part we need to be careful with. We're going to start with the original expression. So this integral is equal to negative e x cosine x plus e to the x sine x minus the integral of e to the x sine x dx. Our goal is to find the integral of this term, and the coefficient for it is a 1. Now, notice that these two are the same. So because they're like terms, we can add them. So I'm going to add this term to both sides of the equation. So once we do that, on the left side, we're going to have 2 times the integral of e to the x sine x dx. Now, I'm going to switch the order of these two. I want the positive term to come first. So that's equal to e to the x sine x, and then minus e to the x cosine x. In order to find the integral of this thing, we need to get rid of the 2. We need the coefficient to be 1. So what I'm going to do at this step is I'm going to multiply every term by 1 half. So 2 times a half, these two will cancel. So on the left I have e to the x sine x dx with the integral sign, and then I need to multiply these two terms by one half. So I'm going to put the half in the front and then enclose these two terms inside a bracket. So it's going to be one half e to the x sine x minus e to the x cosine x. And let's not forget our constant plus c. And so this is the answer. So that's the integral of e to the x sine x dx.